So this is going to be a little different from what I normally do. This is just going to be a quick little explanation of a few things. But I want to take a look at some of the advanced processing of the game that we've seen out of Keegan already. We know what Keegan is in terms of skill, but his basketball IQ and processing is off the charts. So here's a few plays to kind of show that to you. We'll start off with his understanding of the offense and knowing how to manipulate and use off-ball screens. This is from the Kings main offensive set that I broke down in my last video, and every possession is going to start off with a turn screen from the big. And here that is Rashawn Holmes. Here the defender takes a wide angle, trying to shoot the gap around the screen, so Keegan instinctively stops on the other side of the screen, utilizing it as a pin down to get his shot off. Now let's take a look at this play against Portland. This is the same set, but watch how the defender overplays Keegan, forcing him away from the screen. So Keegan hits him with a jab and slips back door, but okay, nothing happens initially. After the slip, Alex Lynn goes up to set a ball screen and Keegan is just watching the play unfold the entire time. Now he recognizes that Lynn is gonna roll, so he just steps over and sets a back screen on Alex Lynn's man, then pops out on the perimeter. So what looked like the Blazers disrupting the Kings offensive set, Keegan was able to turn into a Spain pick and roll just based off his advanced processing that he has. The Kings get nothing out of it, but it's still so fun watching how he's able to read the game. Now here's a few defensive clips starting off with this one where Keegan gets cross matched onto Damian Lillard. Dame sees it as a mismatch so he waves the screen off and just looks to take Keegan one on one. But Keegan does a good job in containment and funnels Lillard just enough off stride to help force a kick out. But on the kick out Harrison Barnes takes a bad gamble and he gets beat so Keegan just recognizes the priority. Instead of sticking with Dame and following him to the corner he knows that he has to step up and help offer rim protection. And this just lets HB pill off to Dame in the corner. And now the last play I'm going to look at which might be the most impressive. This play was also broken down beautifully by Professor Oak on King's Twitter. So Keegan starts off with his man in the corner while the Blazers run a high ball screen for Damian Lillard. The Kings are looking to trap Lillard so the Blazers counter by slipping the screen and Lillard gets the ball there quickly. So what's important to note here is that Alex Lane is the Kings rim protector that's in the game and he's the one that's trapping Lillard. So now it's Keegan's duty to offer help at the rim from the weak side. Right when Lillard makes his pass, look at Keegan's reaction time. He steps up instantly and is already there on the catch. This forces a big, who isn't going to be as comfortable, to be the one to make the right decision on the short roll. And while this is happening, Keegan's original man is cutting from the weak side, so it's really just a 2 on 1 here with Keegan at a disadvantage. After this pass gets made to the cutter, again it's just Keegan's reaction time and split second awareness that sticks out, turns around and instantly makes a play on the ball to help save a basket. Think about all the processing that has to be done in just a few seconds on this play. And Keegan is just a rookie playing in his second game and yet he's able to make these reads on the fly. He's truly a special player.